56 modern housing units have been handed over to the project affected persons as per the agreement by the government of Uganda, the oil and gas project implementers and the local communities. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this whole process of land acquisition and ensuring that our local community gets a, a good deal out of it and actually benefits maximally from this whole process. We do this by engaging and consulting with local community shareholders. Our operations benefit local suppliers who know the community and the environment best. The Kingfisher Oil Development Project in Kikube District covers at least 700 acres. If you refuse, this is your permanent properties. But you also, you also bought some land for you to continue with your food. Why are you sleep in these good houses? Our ultimate goal is to generate a net benefit for society. Sinoko working with development partners and affected persons have come up with a proper compensation and restoration plan. They gave me, it was uh, money compensation. And another option was in terms of building resettlement house. Uh, I went ahead and told them I want a resettlement house. A decent settlement for locals in Kingfisher oil fields is expected to enhance local content in the oil industry and also boost the relationship between the community and the oil company. So those are called induced services. And of, of course, our local participation directive, this is what they call in the law, local content. The people of the area must take part in the investment. So that some of the investments go direct to the people. And I'm very happy you are doing that. Also, employing the services of our own contractors, the local. In the compensation agreement, some project affected persons agreed to get cash, while other families preferred complete housing units. Abdul Nakhsani Lubwama, UBC Business.